what I eat in a day. I want to start off this video by saying I don't promote or encourage any unhealthy eating. I simply show you what I eat in a day. So if you are fat phobic, then skip this video. Yesterday, I had a content creator make a video about me. I'm not going to name the creator because I don't want him to get any more views. But originally, he made a video about Becky Jones. And as you know, I'll fight till the death to defend her. I commented on the video saying the video was gross and he could use his platform for so much good. Although I do show what I eat, I know I don't eat the healthiest. I always try and use my platform for good. <laughs> I don't know if this uh, this man, Corey, was calling me out. I don't know. There might be other content creators that also do videos on Becky Jones and also Corey's World. I don't know. If you're going to ask me whether or not I did receive a comment, I'm not really sure. A lot of people have, like, burner accounts on YouTube, so it could have been somebody. I don't know. It's very difficult. I do get comments from every once in a while, people saying that I look like a sea, a sea urchin or like, uh, you know, I look like a squid belly or something like that. Like, I get, I get a lot of those comments. So, I'm not really sure if this individual was calling me out. But either way, um, he's totally entitled to uh, not say anything about the whatever person it is. I personally think that it should be like name or shame. So, uh, that would be probably, name and shame would be like the optimal route. So, and plus it would give me a lot of clout. So, I'd appreciate that. But... For somebody like Corey, definitely can 100% make whatever video he wants. I totally agree with the idea that you can eat whatever you want. I've said that as much uh, as I possibly can. You eat whatever the fuck you want. To sit there and say that, like, this isn't encouraging people to also think that it's okay to eat like this is... Okay, sure, like, do whatever you want to do. But to a certain degree, when you make stuff on the internet, um, you do project other people to do those same things. Like, I'll give you a, a great example. Like, if you say something on the internet... 100% um, depending on the fan base that you have those people may or may not believe that you know like it just might be like if somebody says uh, let's say Alex Jones comes out and says that whatever that school that got shot up didn't actually get shot up uh, a lot of people did believe that a lot of people thought that it was a whole big facade and it was like an illusion or whatever and a lot of people went with that and to when you're on the internet you have to at least acknowledge that you have a lot of influence especially for somebody like Corey's world who has a lot of followers and a lot of people that watch him every single day and yes the majority of his content is him eating which is fine you could totally eat whatever the fuck you want to eat but you know it's important to like acknowledge that you're not just a guy sitting at a table making videos on the internet that's not the case like you're you're you have big influences it's more influence than a lot of people i feel like some bigger influence than some celebrities and to sit there and say that like, oh, I don't encourage this or like, I don't want people to get the wrong impression. That's fine. You could say that. But that'd be like me going like, oh, I don't want you to guys get the wrong idea. I'm obviously not gay. I would never be gay in my entire life. Anyway. <coughs> <coughs> oh, man, that BBC was tasty, but I'm not gay. It's basically the same thing. Like you could do whatever you want. But let's be honest here for a second. Actions speak louder than words. You can say as much as you want that you don't encourage this behavior or like you don't want people to look at this behavior as like anything other than what you do, you can say that, but like obviously the internet's gonna see something otherwise. The defender, I commented on the video saying the video was gross and he could use his platform for so much good. I don't understand what they mean by like, you can use your platform for so much good. If that's the case, why don't you use your platform for so much good? I don't, I never understood this idea of like, oh, if you're not like, involved in these big political movements or if you're not doing your platform for what there are literally people on youtube or in other social media platforms that just make videos on like reviewing makeup products or reviewing star wars toys or reviewing lego sets like would you say that same thing to those people and the same thing like are you projecting here your content is literally 90 percent just you eating food what are, you, what are you doing beneficial for society if that's the case like if you're sitting here talking about oh you could do so much more good what the fuck? What about you? Why can't you do more good? You literally are way more influential than like, I don't know, like 90% of people on TikTok and you're sitting here telling people that they can do more good. What the fuck is this projection? I hate this idea because like, look, if you want to have a social media presence in any way, don't feel like you're doing something wrong if you're making videos on the things that you want to make videos on. Like if you want to make videos on, I don't know, wearing an assortment of sweaters 
and that's what you want to do, don't feel bad in doing that. You're fine. You don't have to make a video on, like, fucking the war on Palestine or, like, I don't know whether or not Joe Biden does or does not have a big penis. Like, don't feel like you're a bad person for doing that. It's fine. Go ahead. Do what you want. There's a reason why the internet exists and the, the niches exist. Like, you go to particular creators for what you want them to do. So, if you're sitting here thinking that you're, you know, not doing the most because you're making videos on, like, Lego sets, you're good, dude. You don't have to do that. It's fine. You're fine doing what you're doing. So, no. And then, again, projection. You're not doing... You're not doing the most on your platform or like you can, you're not doing more or like bettering all yourself on your platform. So you don't even have room to talk on that, Corey. Defender. I commented on the video saying the video was gross and he could use his platform for so much good. Although I do show what I eat, I know I don't eat the healthiest. I always try and use my platform for good. I'm grateful for the platform. What is the good though? Like, I guess just eating copious amounts of food. I don't even understand what you mean. Damn, he's looking real old here, bro. I got to keep it a buck. He looking like an old man here. I don't understand what you mean by, like, I always try to do the best or, like, try to be the... Like, what are you talking about? Hold, can I hear that one more I time? Eat. I know I don't eat the healthiest. I always try and use my platform for good. Yeah, what is the good? What are you using your platform for good? Like, literally, like, 80 to 90% of your content is literally just eating. And then, I guess, maybe some traveling... I guess, like, don't sit there and try to make it seem like you're a fucking virtuous human being. All you're doing is just sitting there and eating. Like, let's be honest here for a second. It's all right, though. Like, I'm not looking a I'm not I'm looking down upon Corey for that. It's fine. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't care what people do. It's okay. But to sit there and shit on somebody else because they're making content that you don't like and somehow you don't find the value in that, but you're doing the same thing. A lot of people would find that same value, like, that you're doing non-existently. It's, it's, it just screams like monstrous projection here, dude. So much like entitlement as well. Like I always try to use it for good. So the fuck what? Like that'd be like me sitting there going like, I really promote homosexuality. I really promote heterosexuality. Like I love promoting heterosexuality. I think heterosexuality is the way to go. While I have mountains of BBCs behind me, like dildos galore, or I got, you know, copious amounts of black men stroking themselves off to the back of my neck. Like, you can't say those things and then also have the content that you have. Like, it just, it's fine, dude. Go ahead and make your shit, but don't shit on everybody else for making the content they want to make, dude. What the fuck? I'm grateful for the platform I have. I always try and put a positive message in my videos. What is the positive message? Eating copious amounts of food and hoping that people don't judge you too much on it? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? I've raised money for charity through my- I, I, bro, I gotta keep it a bug, dude. I fucking hate it. I really hate it when people have to, like, show off or, like, go off on, like, this is how great of a person I am. I donated to charity. Okay, bro? Does that somehow make you a shit person? Like, does that, does that somehow make you not a shit person? That's like somebody saying very, very racist stuff and then them going, but I'm not racist. Like, okay, but when have we ever used that by a metric to judge whether or not somebody's a good person? Just because you've donated doesn't mean that you're inherently like a great person. That just means you had more money and then you put it towards something, which is fine. Like, I'm not, it's okay to donate. Like, go ahead, donate. But the point I'm making is, don't sit there and try to use that as like a, oh, I'm so virtuous. I'm so amazing because guess what? I donated. I'm a good person. What the fuck are you talking about? Why are you justifying it? Like it, it, it just screams like you, you know, you did something wrong and you're trying to prove people wrong by, 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 by showing them the greatness of you. It's like when you, when you're in work, right. And you have that day off and the work calls you up and they go, Hey man, we need you to come in today. We are short staffed. We just need you to come in today. And you go, no, I can't come in today. So I'm busy. And they go, come on. Like, what are you really doing today? And you have to justify it. Oh, no, sorry, I can't come in today. I got my grandmother's quinceanera. I won't be able to do that today. You know, I, I got spaghetti sauce on my dick. I don't know. Like, there's a whole bunch of shit you can say. But the point I'm making is, why are you justifying it? It's your day off. Fuck them. If they say you want to come in, just say, nope, can't, sorry, and hang up the phone. Same thing here. If you know you're a good person and you know that you're great and amazing or whatever the fuck, that's great. Why the fuck are you telling me how great you are via I donated, I make good messages in my video? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? It's not, it's, it's screaming, it's screaming insecurity. The platform I have, I always try and put a positive message in my videos. I've raised money for charity through my videos. I get messages daily from you guys saying that my videos have helped you through some dark times. So what? I'm sure like plenty of other people have gotten messages like that too, bro. I, I, I don't give a fuck, bro. I honestly, what does this have to do with anything, bro? Why are you trying to, this is so sad, bro.
This is actually insane, incredibly sad. I originally made this account for some fun, but it's quickly become a safe space for many people. And although I do overconsume on food, I know I've got a good heart. I'm a kind person. It's sure, bro. But it's very easy to say that. Like, obviously, anybody can say they're a kind person. Do you think Adolf Hitler, like, looked at himself in the mirror and thought that he was a fucking bad guy? Well, maybe. I don't know. But, like, I, the point I'm making is, like, most people do not consider themselves to be bad people. Most people are going to look upon themselves with good intention and say, I did something great today. I am overall a good person. It's a very rare occurrence for somebody to look at themselves in the mirror and be like, I'm fucking gross. I'm oversaturated. Look at the, the sweat on my face. I look like a humpback seagull. Like very few people do that. So I get what you're saying. Like you're saying like overall you're a good person, but like why are you sitting here over explaining this shit as if it has anything to do with anything? Like, I get it. Somebody made a video on you and that could have been me or you. My, sorry, that could have either been me or another content creator. But it doesn't change the fact that the cause like, can you imagine putting out this stream of content? And then when somebody calls you out on it, you go, but I'm a good, but guys, I'm a really good person. Yes, that's right. Because I've donated, I've raised money to charity. And I've also like got a ton of DMs from people that have told me that I'm like inspirational and I say good things in my videos, okay? The fuck, dude? <laughs> if you were secure in your content, why the fuck are you sitting in? That's like, it's like, you ever see those guys that are like really, really homophobic for no fucking reason? Like the guys that you like, you talk to them like, hey, bro, ah. Uh, you know, when a guy says something like, oh, bro, my girlfriend, she cooks for me so often. And you go like, oh, man, like. Uh, I wish I could be your girlfriend, you know, like as a joke or something like that. And they go, what the fuck, bro? I ain't gay, bro. I ain't with that gay shit, dude. I ain't never with that. You gay for that. You fuck. I hate gay people. Like that's, they're just screaming insecurity. Like a lot of times I question whether or not those guys are actually even gay. Cause if a man is like really secure in his heterosexuality, it shouldn't matter whether or not somebody calls you gay or not. Like it's whatever, bro. Like I get called gay like literally every single fucking day. So it's like for me, it's not like a big deal. But for a lot of dudes that I feel like are deeply closeted, I feel like there's a little bit of insecurity there. I feel like these guys are deeply homosexual or at least find the lustation for another man's genitalia in their throats. Uh, maybe they want to suck dick with their mouth. I'm not sure. But the point I'm making is like when I hear people trying to justify their, their actions so deeply, even though nobody asked them for it, it just screams like you know something is wrong and you're trying your hardest to try to justify that shit. You know? It's a shame that people feel the need to give unwanted advice from someone. What the fuck are you talking about? Unwanted advice? I'm, I, 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 look, I'm so sick of this idea of like giving unwanted advice while you're a public creator making videos that get hundreds of thousands of views on a daily basis. You're literally the definition of unwanted advice. So when you're sitting there and you're saying this bullshit, you do realize that it applies to you as well, even more so than anybody else in this particular genre. You do realize that, right? Are you fucking retarded? That is the dumbest shit I've heard in a long fucking time. You're literally making a video about unwanted advice. So if you're sitting here trying to proclaim that you're a better person and then you sit there and say that bullshit, everything you just said thus far is immediately disqualified. That is the dumbest shit shit i've heard this person say to date that is crazy ass fucking shit jesus christ why is it so easy for these people to immediately contradict themselves who gives a fuck if it's unwanted advice you're making content on the internet why the fuck would you expect somebody to not make reaction based content to the shit you're doing you're literally doing extreme shit don't act like you're not doing something extreme obviously people are going to make reaction videos to you or even in general, they're gonna say shit about you. A good heart, I'm a kind person. It's a shame that people feel the need to give unwanted advice on someone's food habits, pretend to care about their health just to hide that they're simply fat phobic. It's, it's like, whatever, bro. I mean, you, you, you could smell the projector from a mile fucking away. You don't know somebody's true intention. Obviously, you can't mind read. I don't know what person you're talking about in particular, dude. Um, whether whether or not they were or were not fat phobic shouldn't really matter if the intention is clear regardless Okay, and same thing could be said for you, dude How the fuck do we know if anything you're saying is genuine literally you're saying all this bullshit when you have literally hundreds of videos in your back Catalog of you consuming thousands of fucking calories a day as if you give a fuck about your health What the fuck are you talking about bro? What, what, what are we saying right now, man? So this is just a reminder not comment on people's eating habits do not no way he said just that. to hide that they're simply fat phobic so this is just a reminder not comment on people's eating habits do not comment on other people's eating habits do not comment on other people's eating habits is the craziest fucking shit i've ever heard in my life that is like somebody walking outside naked and then going do not look at my body do not make comments about my body sorry do not do that 
Are you literally stupid? Are you literally mentally deficient right now? And if you are, please let me know. That is stupid. That is very stupid, Corey. That is a very stupid statement you just did. Why the fuck would I not comment on your eating habits when that's literally all the content you put out on your fucking channel? What the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you? That's like somebody making a whole entire channel dedicated to Star Wars and going, don't comment on my Star Wars. What the fuck am I here for then? Why wouldn't I? Am I fucking wrong? Can somebody please let me know down in the comment section? Is this not like some straight up mental deficiency right here? What is the thought process, dude? You had me up until this point. Up until you said that whole, like, fucking, that whole spiel of, like, you could be doing more with your fucking content stream. Whatever the fuck. Obviously, this person's projecting. Obviously, this person has no fucking idea what they're talking about. This person is literally dumb. Like, that's actually dumb. I would love to have a conversation with you, Corey, by the way. To talk about how stupid all these statements were. Because literally, they all are. If you're really secure in the fact of your content, and you wouldn't be telling people to not comment on your content. Literally. That's exactly what you're saying. You're telling people to not watch your shit. Because the very idea of consuming somebody's content and your content at that, your content, which is literally 90 to 95% eating is literally telling people to not watch it because otherwise they, because like they're going to make comments on it. They're going to say things about it. They're going to have a reaction to it. So if you don't want people to have a reaction to any of that shit, why the fuck are you making the content? What the fuck is the purpose then? You're literally making this shit for other people to watch. Am I fucking wrong? Isn't your account on, on public? So if you're sitting here, trying to tell people to watch your shit, but you're also telling people to not comment on your eating habits. What the fuck am I supposed to do? There's literally no other reason for me to watch your shit then. Turn your account private and delete all your videos. What other fucking reason are you sitting here making that shit? I I'm sorry. Like, maybe I'm getting a little bit too hot, too hot headed right now. Can somebody please disclose this information to me? Am I wrong? Am I reading this the wrong way? Because thus far, this person, I thought it's like, I really hate this, right? So many times I see these people that make content and it's fine. Make your eating content, okay? Do whatever the fuck you want to do. But when they try to be like intellectual about it or try to justify why they eat the way that they do, it always comes off like they've never actually had a conversation with anybody about any substances at all. Like any, any, any conversation of substance because like the way this person is thinking is literally contradicting every single other thing that they've said. Like it's fine for you to make the content that you're making, but don't sit there and try to make it seem like everybody else that's making reactions based content based off of you which would literally consist of them viewing it with their eyeballs then you're you're just dumb like that's literally the dumbest shit up whatever bro let's fucking let's keep going bro i'm sorry dude this is actually stuff this is actually like stupid as fuck alf just to hide that they're simply fat phobic so this is just a reminder not comment on people's eating habits and i'll continue to keep my page it doesn't make sense for it doesn't make sense because, okay, do not comment on other people's eating habits. You watch Becky Jones's videos, right? I literally heard you say you were going to defend Becky Jones, which is a crazy ass thing to do, but fine. You could defend Becky Jones. Obviously, you have an opinion on based off of Becky Jones, and Becky Jones's all, whole entire page is literally dedicated to eating uh, eating food. So you yourself do not even believe in the idea of commenting on other people's eating habits is a negative thing because you're watching it and you're consuming it. So are you just like never going to comment on it? Because you do realize like when you watch that stuff and you form an opinion in your fucking mind, that's commenting on somebody's eating habit, even though it's not verbally. Whatever, dude. Whatever, man. You fucking dumb, bro. It's fucking stupid. You're dumb, Corey. That's stupid. That's literally dumb. I, the, the, I'm sorry, bro. I'm not even trying to be mean, but... Somebody needs to tell Corey that he needs to take down this video. This is actually hilariously fucking ignorant in like more ways than I can possibly comprehend. It's act I'm actually so surprised that me watching this video right now, somehow my brain hasn't imploded like that fucking submarine that was down in the fucking ocean, dude. Because like, it's actually kind of crazy that there's anybody could have these thought processes and not have like one of the brain cells that relayed that information to get to your, to your mouth somehow there was no like stopping point like none of the brain cells communicated with each other and said whoa wait, wait 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 maybe we shouldn't actually make this comment because it's actually dumb it's actually fucking crazy let's not make this claim that's crazy about it like you literally said all this stuff confidently that's crazy bro Corey, get your shit together so this is just a reminder not comment on people's eating habits and i'll continue to keep my page as a safe space for anyone that needs it it's not a safe space your shit is public what the fuck are you talking about that doesn't make any fucking sense that's like somebody saying a public that's like saying the sidewalk is a public space by what metric is your shit a by what metric is your say is your page a safe space you literally do not discriminate any against anybody that watches your shit you you literally cannot okay bro 
Love you all. All right, in a day. Obviously, I'm trying to only have one takeaway a day to be a bit healthier. Do we dude, this dude Corey is fucking. I'm sorry, bro. Like, I know that first initial video, we weren't really talking about the food that he was eating. There was a lot of food that he was eating, but I think it's really important to call these people out on their fucking bullshit, dude. Because they sit there and they come off so fucking smug, so entitled, like they know everything. When in reality, these people are literally dumb as fucking rocks. Like the most dull points of view possible only talking about feelings they have absolutely no fucking context they have no they have no meaningful statements in their fucking minds it's crazy bro and i'm not trying to sit here and say that i'm better than these people i'm obviously not they can do whatever the fuck they want i just think it's weird that you would sit there and critique other people for making videos on your shit when your shit is obviously fucking extreme like it's crazy bro you're not you're not not entitled to have people comment on your shit dude but anyway let's get into the actual meat and potatoes no pun intended we've come out for breakfast this morning one take out a day by the way is i don't know how much money this guy makes dude somebody please tell me what the fuck he does for a living dude because it kind of seems like whenever he's making his videos he's literally recording these shits for like the entire day and maybe he has work in between that shit but he's always out with his friends and he's always i don't know please somebody tell me let me know down below what is he doing for work because if you're eating takeout once a day and i know he's going to take out uh, with multiple people, I don't know if he's paying for his own shit or other people are spending the bill or whatever. These meals can easily come up to 15, 20 bucks each just for yourself. Like double it if it's with somebody else. Suck me off. I know it is, dude. I've eaten out before with one or more people. It's like $20 minimum, even at like a very mid ass fucking fast food place. So if you're sitting there and going like, I'm limiting myself to one takeout a day, that's great. How much was it fucking before? Like five? What the fuck are you doing, bro? What are you trying to be, the new wave Becky Jones? Instead of ordering one so it don't count as a takeout. It's also like, I get that it, 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 in Britain, in the Britland, that it's okay to, you know, buy beans and shit like that. Nobody here in America even has looked at a bean in the same way that these people do. I swear to God, bro. Um, I think it would be more likely for somebody here in America to slide their genitalia in beans rather than sliding beans down their throat. And I feel like that's an accurate assumption. To sit here and get a burger and fries and have beans as the dipping sauce is actually atrocious. This is why so many people shit on the UKians because you guys are great in the sense of like you have really really cool antiques like you got those rotary phones that you could put into and go like that's cool i like that i also like that you guys have that nice accent it's really cool even though sometimes i really can't even speak i can't understand it right but regardless your food is fucking terrible and this doesn't help you a burger and fries and by the way the burger didn't even really even look good at all that shit literally looked dried the fuck up the cheese literally looked like it was trying to run away from the burger a bit healthier so we've come out for my wrong this morning. look the cheese literally looks like it's trying to run away from the burger this literally looks like some public school lunch shit but anyway then instead of ordering one so it don't count as a takeaway and then we can have a proper takeaway tonight i went for cheeseburger beans and chips every like man, these burgers is way bigger than i fucking thought dude Everybody wants that cheese pull nowadays, and I don't know if that if people realize it's not an indication that the food is good. It just means they put cheese in it. It doesn't mean that the food is good. But obviously, if you're an obese person or you're fat and you don't really care about yourself, the cheese is going to be the bee's knees when it comes to the uh, aesthetic pleasingness of the food. I think this might be the best cheese pull in the world. If Leah was here right now, you know she'd be saying cheesy. He looks really like he needs to fucking put on some. He needs to put on some fucking. Con I don't know, bro. He needs to start lotioning. He needs to start moisturizing up. Where does sunblock at? I get it in the UK. You guys don't have a lot of sun. We need to start applying. I'm going to keep it a buck. How stunning is that? I'm cheese mad. This is my dog, Baby Bell. We named her after Baby Bell the cheese. We Damn. popped my mum. Damn, bro. You got your own personal pizza. It's insane, dude. Fuck, bro. Comes for some lunch. And we got a cheese and pepperoni pizza. What this do you mean A? I just saw two of them. You can't say we got A and I'm looking at two. The hell is going on? Baby Bell the cheese. We popped to my mum's for some lunch and we got a cheese and pepperoni pizza. This was insane. This afternoon we've come Bro, to your mom just got one to herself? You don't give a fuck about your mom? Jesus, bro. What the fuck? If you're sitting there eating your pizza like it's a taco, you gotta do something about it, okay? There's this just issues at this point. It, it's too many problems. Fun to breathe. For a little wander around, me and Leah got a bubblegum ice cream each. Damn, bro. I Whoa. Calm down with that, bro. You ever see those memes where it's like life as a man is really like suspect or it's like a guy eating a banana and you hear the gay, gay, gay. That's what I imagined when I saw him put the popsicle in his mouth. But it's okay. He could eat popsicles like that. I had to share with Baby Bell. That's... That's crazy, bro. I got to keep it a buck. Um, listen, 
dogs don't brush their teeth. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I had a cat for a really long time and he never washed his hands ever in his entire life. I had to do it for him. And also they don't really clean themselves properly, like licking themselves with their tongue and shit like that. And sometimes even just butthole and dick and shit. Like they just do that casually. Um, I'm pretty sure dogs are the same unless you're like going in and brushing their teeth. And even then I don't even think that's practical because they go outside and just find shit on the floor and start eating it. So if you're sitting here and you're not giving your dog like the last little bit of your popsicle, but instead giving him like the last 75% of it, that means that you're going to be eating the rest of it, right? So you just let your dog like slippery slosh his tongue across his, his crustated tongue, by the way. That's probably got amoebas and crustaceans and all this other stuff on top of the tongue. You're just going to let that dude uh, like suck on your fucking popsicle, dude. I mean, I guess, dude, if that's what you want to do. People have them priorities, right? It is what it is. It's fucking weird. It's gross. I mean, hey, I guess it doesn't fucking matter, honestly, if the food, the, the rate of food that you're eating. How can I say no to that face? Tomorrow. He did, bro. You, you dirty, bro. You dirty, dude. That's crazy as fuck. You dirty as shit, Corey, bro. That's crazy, bro. Wow. You really did that, huh? I, I, bro, doubling it down, bro. I thought he was just going to cut it to another food, but he doubled down. He really put that shit in his mouth after his dog fucking put that shit in his throat. After his dog deep throated that shit. That dude, Corey, put it right on his mouth. That's crazy, bro. Good for you, Corey. Living life, bro. I hope you don't... I hope you live long, man. I'm coming to Manchester. So if you have any recommendation, places to eat and things to see, please let me know in the comments below. Charlie's come over our... Can you imagine going like, oh yeah, I'm going to go to this one spot. Can you guys tell me where to eat? What the fuck, bro? You know there's more to places than just eating, right? You know that? It also looks like there's a trash can behind it, but I know that's like the thing that sucks up the air. That's crazy. Sleep That's real crazy, tonight. Corey. So we had some snacks before. Jesus Christ, bro. What you order, bro? What is that? The the guy's BBC from account uh, from, from behind the counter? The takeaway arrived. God damn, bro. What the fuck? You already had a personal pizza earlier, dude. You don't need to get another one. I went for a Donna wrap meal. We shared this Donna Calzone. You Play didn't share that shit. Let's be honest here for a second, dude. You know you body slapped that shit. On the switch. Obviously, I won. And finish off the night with these snacks in bed. Tank Don't you need these snack, Bro, am I wrong in saying this, dude? But do you guys, like... Here where I live, right, you can get these snacks, like these particular types of snacks. Like little, I don't know, like sugary treats and chip bags and all this other stuff. Um, I don't do that. I don't get the small little bags of shit because that's insane. I'm not paying like the premium on the little small little bags. I'm getting the bigger bags. If I'm getting candy, I'm getting something that's going to last me a whole month. Like if I buy the big bags of gummy bears, those are going to last me like two months, right? I'm not buying a little fucking baby bag of fucking gummy bears, bro. I'm a grown ass fucking man with a big dick. I need something big and satiation in order to please me. But the point I'm making is like, it just seems like a waste of money. Like you're just going to a convenience store and just buying like quick snacks why dude can't you just like get it all from the food itself like it's fine if you want to eat snacks go ahead but it just kind of seems like it's a waste of money to get these small ass bags and fast sticks hula hoops and two yogurts Damn, bro you need a lot of fucking snacks bro what the fuck is good with you one of these would have been i for me literally the snack whatever that shit is called the snack of jacks that shit would have been i for me or i guess one of these you got how many is here two two of these fucking nestle uh puddings dude one would have been sufficient. Two is crazy, given the fact that you're also eating the snack jacks and those hulas over there, bro. Crazy as fuck. Today is Charlie Ann's barbecue. We've just got home from Japan. We're feeling jet lagged after our 35 hour travel and the cupboards are empty. Damn, so bro. that means one thing. Like the cheese doesn't look good on this. The burger looks dry as fuck. It literally looks like somebody's like, like cooked it and then just sat on it for 45 minutes and then gave it to you like that. Gotta be an Atlantic calf for breakfast. Ooh. What did people do before? Ooh. Why is she so brown? It's empty. So that means one thing. It's gotta be an Atlantic. Damn bro. I, for a place that don't got a lot of sun, you guys are unusually tan calf for breakfast what did people do before uber eats like make their own food i think i'm pretty sure people made their own food their own delicacies people had cookbooks people had culinary ability people had the ability to put food together in a way in a format that was delectable and pleasing to the mouth couldn't live without it. The weather's lush today. We've taken oh, that's crazy. So the burger that you got that expired dr dry ass <laughs> burger you got was uber eated bro not surprised not the surprised. dogs on a long walk before heading to morrison's to get a mori sal damn bro. Away was so can you imagine like going from shop to shop damn that's just crazy as fuck bro there's literally some slop that's not even a the, the slop from over here is over here and you're just okay with look i'm gonna give it a buck 
there are like places here where I live where you if you go into a grocery store, they'll have like those little condiment areas like this where you can like dish out certain food items and stuff like that. I'm going to keep it a solid bucket you. I've never seen anybody ever use those ever. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I have seen somebody use that shit, they probably died that next week. I'm not sure like if there's a correlation because the guy did get shot. But the point I'm making is I don't know. Like I wouldn't take a chance on it after I saw that. And it also doesn't look very good. Like, how long has that food been sitting there for? Days? Weeks? Months? I don't know. Like, even hours, it'd be kind of suspicious. Blush. But like, there's just a red thing in this. Like, what is this red thing? Like, there's no... Like, okay. Consistency is yellow and in green. And then one red. Or purple. Is that an onion? Why is it randomly here? What is that? Then, like, your home comforts. Your own bed. Your own Ooh. food. And it doesn't get much better Burger, than a morning burger. Salad. I went for chicken and bacon pasta. Potato dal. Tomato Crazy. pasta. Pesto pasta. Cheese and onions. And a boiled egg. You can have this on a meal. You're just wasting money at this point. Like, you can make all this shit at your house. All at the crib, dude. And the fact that you're just so conveniently just heading over to the shop to, to get this shit is insane, bro. You got too much money. You got too much money, bro. I found the problem. These people... It's not the fact that they eat so much food. It's just that like they don't give a fuck where they get it from. Deal. So my side was skewers and a ride being the light. We've come down the nap to eat it. Barry Island is lush. Look at that view. The food was bad. What did you do to deserve it? You literally drove to an establishment, got the food, and drove to another place and didn't even go outside to enjoy it. You just sat in the car to eat. You're fucking, you're failing. You're fucking failing, Corey. What the fuck, man? How the fuck do you go sightseeing and you just end up just sitting in the car? Boring, dude. And as much as I'd love to sit here all day, you gotta get ready for the party. We haven't even unpacked yet. Man, Before... didn't even season that shit, bro. No fucking salt, no pepper, dude. Before we go home, there's one place I need gotta to... Gotta go to the subway, man. Damn, bro. I'm... <sighs> subway is fucking milk, dude. I'm gonna keep it a buck, okay? I went to a subway, and all the food that they had on display was crunched up. That shit was dry. Even the dudes behind the counter were like... I don't even know. They were on the brink of death. These dudes were depressed. They were leaning over. Half of them were Mexican dudes. They didn't even know what the fuck was going on. I asked them like, hey, I was like, hey, uh, do you guys serve, do you guys serve like steak and cheese? And he said, he said, Subway, eh, Subway. And I was like, oh, okay. And I just walked out. Cause like, what the fuck you mean is Subway? I know it's Subway, bro. I literally can see the sign. I walked in cause I saw there was Subway, bro. I know. That's just crazy. I don't know what the fuck is it. You know, the other day, right? I walked into a beauty supply store. And there was a lady that was working at this beauty supply store. And I was just walking by in the do-rag section, the bonnet section. And this lady walks up and she goes, oh, sorry. No, my bad. She was Haitian, I think. So I can't really do a, a good Haitian woman accent. So you can have to get the good Haitian man accent. But she was saying some shit like, she was like, oh, hey, no, we don't. We don't have men items in this aisle. But it was more woman-y. So just do that voice with a woman. And I was just like, I was looking at this bitch because she was a bitch. I was just thinking, like, bro, when the fuck does that ever stop anybody from buying something, right? Just because it's not a man item. By the way, what the fuck is a man item, dude? I'm literally in the do rag session. Like, what do you like? You, have you never seen iced tea before? Have you never seen the fucking game? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Yes, men can wear fucking do rags and bonnets as well. What are you fucking racist? So I walked out because, like, what are you doing, man? Why the fuck are you monitoring me? These do-rags were like $4, dollars too. I would have spent money on these do-rags, okay? I thought it would have been cool to put on Davina or something like that. But you know what? Fuck you. I'm not buying it anymore because you told me that it's not for men. And little do you know, I was buying it for somebody else. So I guess you were right. But even still, like, that's not the purpose. And even if it wasn't for men, it should have been for me. Because, like, what the fuck? What if I'm gay? What if I'm, like, a cross-dresser or something like that? Some RuPaul's Drag Race shit. But you know what? Fuck that. It's all good. Stop. It's got to be a subway. That's crazy as fuck fuck to walk in the subway and not even leave with the sandwich but to leave with like an armada of, of, of cookies we haven't even unpacked yet before we go home there's one place i need to stop look at these fucking cookies bro let's count these shits real quick hold up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i'm guessing there's 12 12 cookies bro you got a dozen cookies what are you doing with these shits bro if it were me if it were me I would wait for them to get really, really erect, like hard. And then I would uh, come out of my sunroof. I would have somebody like drive a bus or something. No, no, I'd have somebody drive like a limousine. I'd be in the back of the limousine and I would just be tossing them shits outside the fucking window at homeless people, bro. Just just giving them the delight of of, of these cookies, right? Um, that's the American dream. If you can't throw Frisbee cookies at homeless men uh, to satiate them, I don't know what to tell you, bro. That's the American dream. What are you going to fucking do about it? Come at me.
It's got to be a Subway. I'm dying for the cookies. The triple chocolate's my fave. Damn, there is 12 here, huh? Let me count real quick. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There is 12. Damn, bro. Why did they, why did they put this guy all the way over here? Segregation, dude. Mine's the rainbow. We've just arrived to Charlie's barbecue and look at the decorations. She always does the most. We had some drinks and shots. Damn, who's we that? had to catch up with all our mates. We haven't seen anyone since Ooh. before holiday. So it was an overdue catch up. Oh, da oh damn. Oh, damn. I'm not going to say anything. God damn. God damn. I'm not going to say anything, bro. Can you guys say something for me? I'm not going to be mean. I'm not a mean person. What the fuck is going on? Bro. Blend. Blend. What the fuck? And it's such a get nice that, group Get that shit out of my fucking face. People. Halfway through the party, we ran out of alcohol. So we had a shop run. And then when that ran out, there was only one place we were going. Cardiff. <laughs> the DMV. <laughs> town. I didn't film in the club. We were having far too... Dry. The fucking uncooked cheese bro you literally have cold cheese too much fun but after a night out in car why does he always look so fucking depressed like he's been through it like he's had five children and they've been beating him down all fucking day our death is only one place to end it it's got to be in chippy lane i went for <laughs> Oh my god. I have not missed being hungover. Last night we went to Charlie's party. And there's one thing that's guaranteed when you leave Charlie's party. It's a three day hangover. I've been seeing this a lot from people in the UK. And I gotta keep it a buck with you guys. It's gotta stop, okay? This is literally alcohol abuse and it's food abuse. Because you guys are in this endless oral boros of becoming so drunk that the day before you are sick to your stomachs and in order to remedy that which i've never been told before that eating tons and tons of fast food in a day is supposed to remedy the the solution of being hung over i was actually told otherwise i thought it was if you drink a lot of liquids like water or maybe even coffee or even tea which you guys know about since you're from the uk and stuff like that i was told that that would be the optimal way to alleviate a hangover but apparently you guys just remedy that shit with drink, eat, drinking tons of calories and eating tons of greased up, disgusting foods. Why do you guys keep doing this? Like I see it, I see it so many times where it's like, oh, you know, it, it, I was, I was hung over. Oh no, I was hung over because I went to the party last night and it was insane. Oh, so I had to wake up in the morning and wouldn't you know it, I had to go to Greg's and Mackey's just to make sure that I got the hangover, to deal with the hangover. It's every day. Every day, bro. You don't need a reason not to eat bad. You, I already know you was going to eat bad, bro. Right? Because that's the good messages you put in your video. Right, Corey? Right? 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 The only acceptable breakfast. And drinking the orange juice, too, is kind of crazy as fuck, bro. That's insane, dude. You guys are literally just trying to add calories wherever you can. It's got to be a Mackey D's. Ooh, that shit looks diabolical, bro. What dude made that shit? I went for a sausage and egg McMuffin, Ooh. minus the egg, a cheesy flatbread, and two hash browns. And this really hit the spot. I found what some... What spot was that, bro? The diabetes? <laughs> over cookies so i gobbled them swallowed them and as much as i'd love to stay in bed all day the dogs need walking and my mum's made us a cooked dinner i haven't had my mum's dinner for ages what is your mom's dinner okay my bad i thought it was like veg steamed vegetables she was trying to help you out uh don't know what the fuck this shit is bro what was your mom making in this cheesy broccoli and some kind of is this like reused is this like reused pudding cups is this what I'm seeing? Like the Nestle pudding cups that you was eating the other day? Are these like the reused ones? And although veg is an ideal on a hangover, I definitely need some nutrients. I went for cheesy broccoli, green beans. Burnt. Look at these roasties. Oh my God. Some green peas, Yorkie porky pudding and pie, potatoes. And then potatoes. That's potatoes, dude? What the fuck happened to them? Why do they look like, like King Tut's dick? And lamb cutlass with gravy. I could bath in that. What do you guys have on a roast dinner? Mint sauce or mint jelly get in my belly? I've actually got such a sore throat from being sick last night. What the fuck are you talking about? How do you spend all night drinking and you have a sore throat from the day after? What were you doing? What were you doing, Corey? Huh? What were you doing to get the sore throat when you were drunk and passed out? Huh? All I'm saying is questioning it. That's all I'm saying, dude. 
if you if you were drunk so drunk the night before that you had a hangover the next day and you don't know why you got that sore throat all i'm saying is like let's question who was at the party okay women are out of the question i think you know why what happened to your throat what happened to that shit what happened Corey? something you want to tell us all right all right stop playing charades with us and just let us know so they slided down my esophagus perfectly. Tonight we're having the TikTokers over for a Chinese. But Dang. I don't think I can stomach it. Dang. I can't stomach it. They've just arrived. Have a quarter of a cake is crazy. I ordered a doner kebab instead. Ooh, damn. Ooh, damn. Ooh, damn. Wow. Couldn't be bothered to film it. Love you all. The only thing worse than that. God ever. damn, that shit's big as fuck. What the fuck is this shit? Are you eating this on the actual, the, whatever this is, a rug? Hangover is a two-day hangover. But Dude, two days. Two days, bro. And you were already busted up from the day before, man. Best thing to ease a hangover is shitloads of food. True. Specifically leftover Chinese. But that didn't touch the sides. So I ordered a Greg's. I did film me eating it. A TikTok keep deleting my clips. So you can have this really strange clip of me pretending to eat it. I had a corned beef pasty and a sausage roll. This was my hash browns. They weren't the best. And this was a spiky Mikey biscuit. Yeah, if, if, if every video was like this, I wouldn't have a problem. If every video was just him eating, like, the air... I would be, oh, Corey, inspirational, truly. You're, you're really using your platform for good, really good, good platform usages. Stunning. I can't be asked to leave the house today. So Damn, bro, I got that BK, two big bags, it's insane. For lunch, I've ordered a Burger King. When I'm hungover, there's no limit. I'm like an empty bottomless pit. Chili cheese bites, bacon cheeseburger, double. Large chips, Damn. a normal cheeseburger, going all out, bro. Stunning. That's made me feel so much better. Chicken Royale is crazy, bro. I never even heard of these menu items, bro. He's going all the way. He was already disgustingly destroyed yesterday, and the fact that he went back for that double is crazy. Uh, I know this is a bit extreme, but I just need to get through the day. And this Burger King. What do you mean? Me like, what do you mean you need, bro? This is insane, bro. That dog is literally looking at him with so much disgust, so much disdain. Like, what are you doing, bro? You're supposed to be my owner, and you can't even like own yourself F energy to make it to the family meal tonight we've come to Colca arms to celebrate some good news and although i've eaten everything today i feel starving so True. i'm gonna order two meals to last me two meals is crazy bro you literally had a greg's you had that fucking shit at the very beginning that you didn't show us because you already body slammed that shit and you had a burger king a big ass thing a burger king and now you're gonna get two meals Corey. There needs to be an intervention. Somebody needs to step into your life and tell you what the fuck is going on. This shit is not good. Night. For my first meal, I went for a large mixed grill, and this was stunning. Damn, dude. Eating a steak like that is serious. Second plate was a cheese and chicken burger, mac and cheese with onion rings and chips. This mac and cheese was to die for. I've already got diarrhea today. Oh, anyway, my God. So I, I might as well risk it. Every time I come here, I always want to order the cake sundae for dessert, but they've never had it in stock. Today's my lucky day. True. How stunning is that? Damn, dude. You're, you're done, dude. You're fucking done. This is insane, bro. This dude's on some different shit. He's always sitting here saying... He he just said at the very beginning, like, he always tries to put a positive message in his fucking videos. What's the positive message? Your fucking diarrhea? What are you talking about, bro? Your overconsumption of alcohol and that leads to you overeating? What is the positive message, dude? I love you, Corey. Hit me up. Hit me up at the DMs. DMs are open. Hit me up. I'll, hit, I'll, I'll reply. I'll reply. I'm always there. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Uh, and by the way, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in your favorite utensil, which is obviously a spoon. This is a spoon, as you can see. It's a beautiful spoon. Uh, I found this somewhere. I don't know where, but I have it. And it's beautiful. And now I shall honor it forever. And now that I know that you also have a spoon. Wow. You have spoons? How many spoons do you have? Oh, wow, those are a lot of spoons. Wow. What's, but hold up. I know you're showing me your spoon right now. What's behind the spoon? What's behind that spoon? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Whoa. <laughs> Forget about the spoon. Throw that on the floor. I don't, throw it away. Let's talk about you for a second. You are looking good. You're looking so good. I need to tell you about how good you're looking today. You're juiced up, you're tasty, you're looking delectable. If I was a cannibal, 
I'm not obviously. You're just a tasty person. I need you to I need I need to authenticate that with you. You're just so lubricated today. All that water you've been drinking, all that delectable liquids that have been flowing in your mouth, it's just too good and we need to celebrate it. So good job. Thank you for lubricating your mouth. Anyway, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all that stuff will be linked in the description of this video and the description of the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Positive message, positive message, positive message.